Hi y'all, I'm here today to share with you all the empty products from basically summer. Um, I love doing and watching other people's empties because I learn so much from them about what they've used up because you have a longer time to use something and really get the feel for it than when you get a first impression or you just start using something. So, you know, I find them to be very helpful, so I thought I would do my own version. Some of the things that I used up during the summer, one would be the Paula's Choice Clear Pore Normalizing Cleanser. Um, I just, I can't say enough about Paula's Choice uh, facial care products. They are awesome. They did so much for my skin. Um, I have, even though I'm an older person, I have a lot of acne. I also have oily skin, but at the same time, you know, the anti-aging issue is there. And um, I just really love the clear line that Paula's Choice offers. So um, I use this completely up and um, I have purchased a different product from their line although I love this one I just had someone who told me they really liked a different one better um, so I'm trying that out if I don't like it better I'm definitely going back to this I'm not going to go to anything else going to stick with Paula's Choice so really nice um, the one thing I have to say about this is it um, I usually have to literally wash my face twice like you know I use eye makeup remover but even then I generally have to wet my face squirt some of this on scrub really well rinse and then do it again now um, if you were like using you know a Clarisonic or a scrubbing brush you could probably just do it once really well and rinse um, but I do tend to do it twice because I find when I'm rinsing that they're still like I can see the, the brownish makeup water whatever you call it the water still looks brown after the first time so i always go back and wash again and this never leaves my face feeling like really dry or anything yet it cleans it thoroughly which is necessary for someone with oily skin and with acne issues um the next thing that i used up is uh by philip b this would be the ph restorative detangling toning misc mist not misc mist um, it has apple cider vinegar. I used this all up because it's supposed to help with frizz and things like that. And maybe it helps some, okay? But I will never order this, even though I like Philip B products. Sorry, Philip B. This stuff smells like pickles. Dill pickles. Every time you put it in your hair. Even my little girls, I sprayed it in their hair and they were like, Ooh, don't use the stinky stuff, Mom. I don't want to smell like pickles. So sorry, the smell is just... It cannot be overcome even if it doesn't stay in your hair just the smell while you're spraying it whose hair wants to smell like pickles right gross so that is a no-go um, on the opposite end of that spectrum 12 benefits this is instant healthy hair treatment this supposedly and I don't know if it does all this but supposedly seals color smooths frizz repairs damage prevents split ends moisturizes dry hair strengthens fragile hair prevents flat iron damage protects from chlorine wind and sun damage adds shine softness and a silky finish protects from blow drying and improves texture and manageability anti-age formula keeps hair youthful okay I don't know if you can tell but my hair is actually kind of puffy kind of just not shiny and icky and it's because when I ran out of this I switched to this so I love this stuff I've actually reordered it this I think it was either my third or my fourth bottle and I love this stuff currently I'm not reordering it because I have an it's a 10 like a big full-size one that I got for free and a small it's a 10 that I got for free and I really need to use those and see how those do but unless one of those is just absolutely magical I will be reordering this from the birchbox.com shop because this is like pretty much absolutely magical makes a huge difference in my hair in the frizz in the shine I really don't know if it protects like it says I guess it does but I literally within like, like using this a couple of days can see a difference in the natural state of my hair it's amazing love this stuff and it doesn't smell like pickles praise the Lord all right next thing um fresh sugar this is or was a lip balm people feel one of two ways about the fresh lip balms I'm finding either they absolutely love them and they can't get them enough 
or they find them to be good, but way overpriced. I fall into the second group. I find it to be good. It feels really nice. However, when you're putting it on, it does try to like the, the, the stick of it tries to like melt and glop sideways and get all mushy. And maybe that's because I live in the deep south and it's like super hot here. I don't know. But inside, I'm not even talking about toting this around in my purse. I'm talking about inside in my bathrooms where I kept it and used it. It was just like a mess, but it really feels good. I guess it's natural and stuff and it does have SPF 15, but hello, lip balm, $22 not in my budget so I will not be purchasing this one again next um, the Ulta oil free sunscreen stick whoops hold on the top came out okay I loved this stuff I am a runner and I run several times a week and I always want to have sunblock on my face when I run to protect my face from Sun and what I love about this is it's a nice wide stick so you just smear it on and then you could just like quickly rub it in but um I do have another stick I'm using right now the Neutrogena see how much wider it is yeah I like this one better it's small now it is oil free but don't mistake that this is greasy this is not a sunblock stick that I would ever wear under my makeup this is for when you are out running or at the beach or whatever but it's very convenient you can just rub it on it has an SPF of 30 and it is water resistant up to 80 minutes problem with this is Ulta must have quit making it because I can't find it if you can find it please let me know because I really like this and I had to go to the Neutrogena which is good too but just totally different and I would love to have this again if I could get it next up Paula's Choice Resist this is the Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30 for normal oily or combination skin. I have another one. That's how much I like it. Love this stuff. It does have um, an actual kind of color, but when you put it on, it looks kind of like, for me at least, it goes on and it looks light. But it absorbs into your skin after a few minutes and then you put your makeup on or your primer or whatever and it's no big deal so yes it does have a color but it uh, kind of dissolves away I know that's not the best way to term it but why do I love it because it does not give me acne it does not um, make me oily it actually kind of tends to mattify and yes I use this as my primer sunscreen and hydration all in one because I have oily skin this does it all this is perfect I just put it on now it may not be like a miracle primer if you're used to using some kind of primer that's just like whoa I have no more pores at all this is not gonna do that but I find it to be really great and bonus I put it all around my eyes and it does not sting my eyes which is fabulous because I have tried so many sunscreens that if I get it near my eyes my eyes are watering and then you know you wait but then you're putting on your eye makeup and they start watering all over again and then you look like somebody has them busted you up in your head and you got big black eyes because your mascara is all over your face not a good look so love this stuff going to keep reordering it can't speak enough about it positively for people with oily or combination or normal skin next up CK1 okay if you belong to Ulta you have like you know the membership with them then you got this for free on your birthday and I did and it's a really good mascara um, what's cool about it is see if I can do this where you can see when you turn the wand down here it actually makes the wand change in length now that was really cool and I like that um, the formula was good it looked nice I did a bunch of reviews on my blog about it if you want to see pictures of how it performed but it wasn't like a holy grail mascara it's great mascara good mascara wasn't holy grail for me so I'm gonna keep moving on and keep searching for the holy grail 
Next up, Dr. Brandt's Microdermabrasion Skin Exfoliant. Okay, this exfoliant was good. It had a slight minty, tingly smell to it, and I don't like putting tingly things on my face. I think it's a skin irritant. I've read science to back that up. So, that aspect, not a fan. Also, the cost, not a fan. Um, I think that if you want a physical exfoliant, you know, with the grit, that the grit type that this has, that very fine grit, is preferable to the big grainy grit like St. Ives has that just kind of scratches your skin. And yes, it does scratch your skin, whether you believe it or know it, it does. Read the science behind it. Um, so this grit is good, but the cost and the tingle is a loser for me, so I will not be repurchasing. Next up, um, Not Soap Radio. When life gives you one too many lemons and you've misplaced your happy place, this is a shower body wash it says that you can use it as a um, bubble bath uh, this stuff smelled like ugh, intoxicating it is like lemon but not like kitchen lemon it is like sexy lemon I know that sounds weird but it is so unique and so fresh but sexy at the same time it's got vanilla and neroli in it and it just is a very unique i mean i would be in the shower and i would be looking forward to putting this on to my body poof and scrubbing because it smells so good and um one of the great things about it is that it doesn't have the laurel sulfate in it yay so it's good for your skin in that aspect one of the not as good things about it if you're used to really bubbly, lathery stuff, because it doesn't have the laurel sulfates in it, it's not going to bubble up and lather like you kind of are used to. I am used to the shampoos that don't have that and the fact that your hair does get clean, even without the big old, you know, fro of bubbles. So it doesn't bother me that this doesn't lather up tons. I'm okay with that. However, you might not be. I would totally get this again. Love this scent. Um, Not Soap Radio is supposed to be coming out with some other products in the scent. And they said something to me about possibly sending me some. I'm so excited if they do because I can't wait to try it. Um, I did find that putting this in the bath water, it made your bath water smell really nice. And it didn't irritate your woman bits. I have issue with that. I don't hardly ever take um, bubble baths because of that issue. And this did not cause that problem, I guess because of no um, sulf laurel sulfates. But at the same time, the bubbles didn't last. So um, if you just want a smell in your water, this is good. But if you want actual bubbles, this is not going to work for you. But again, love the scent. So good. Next up, um, I tried out Suave Professionals Natural Infusion with Alapui Ginger and Honeysuckle. Smelled really nice, cleaned really well. However, they do have the um, the laurel sulfates in them. Uh, actually, sodium laurel sulfate would be the ingredient right after water in the shampoo. And um, that just kills my hair. It really does. It, it just makes it dry and brittle. And so this is a no-go for me. If you like the sulfates, then you might like this and it's definitely suave is definitely affordable but for me that would be a losing factor next up is paula's choice resist ultralight super antioxidant concentrate serum for normal and oily skin and it had hyaluronic acid in it fights multiple signs of aging it is weightless and um, just a great way for you to get antioxidants for oily skin this is trick so it's very nice. I You could use this day or night. Um, I tended to use it for both, but um, I did not reorder. And the reason is because I ordered a different serum by Paula's Choice that actually has retinol in it, like a lower dose of retinol, because I just wanted to go in that direction. I would reorder this, and I may reorder it if I find that, you know, the retinol is just not working out for me. Um, so I do recommend it but I did not repurchase it as of yet. It has a nice feeling and it doesn't make my skin oily and I like that. So good way to fight aging, even if you have acne prone oily skin. Next thing I've got is Shea Terra Organics Rose Hips 
Black Soap Deep Pore Facial Cleanser. Okay, everybody's been talking about these um, African black soaps. And this facial cleanser really did a good job. I hated this container because it's very thick and when you're trying to get it out, it just took forever. So I always left it like this in my shower once I initially used it and it still didn't want to come out. I have to stick my pinky in there and dig it out. So this container sucked. But this soap did a good job cleaning. I have one problem with this soap. I noticed pretty quickly that most of the time when I used this soap and cleansed my face, the chem I, I don't want to say chemicals but I don't know what else to call it it would get up in my nose and begin to burn the insides of my nose and my nose would get very irritated and start running while I was in the shower and um, there's something in here that just irritates my sinus passages like badly and for it to be doing that without me getting this up my nose just on my face um, that's not good so I will not be reusing this and besides I like the polish choice this I just kept in my shower to use because I don't want to keep my polish choice in the shower next up would be the Mark Anthony dream waves beach spray okay I have my hair straight today but as you guys have seen most of the time I do my natural waves and love the way that this smelled like coconut it was absolutely fabulous um, did it give me sexy tousled beach waves with my natural wave? It did give me some texture, but what I found was that for my particular hair texture, this did not cause enough chunkiness, you know, to separate those waves into chunks like I like. The Tony and Guy sea salt spray is way more effective for me. This smells great. And I just love the scent of coconut, but this just did not give me that clumping texturizing that I want out of a Beach Wave spray. So that one's going to be a no-go for me. Hello Body Cream with Sicilian Lemon, Spanish Mandarin, Botanicals, and Shea Butter was a very nice lotion. Um, it's by Harvey Prince. Again, it's got that slightly citrusy, lemony smell that apparently I didn't know, but I really like. Perhaps with age, I've come to you know be really freaking excited over lemons I don't know this smells really good though I really like it if you want something that's um, a little off the beaten path a little bit different you might want to get a sample of the hello from Harvey Prince and try it out good body cream I used every last drop of this and it just <sighs> smells good yes it does I didn't have any problems with it breaking out my skin or, or anything like that I wish it could have been a little more um moisturizing because i still found myself being a little bit dry but that's kind of standard with most of the typical body lotions that i use next up is the airs body butter in patagonia now this has some serious moisturization but the particular scent i got patagonia smells like medicine not a fan of that smell liked the actual product did not like smelling like minty medicine-y stuff um let's see next up lancer this is uh eye contour lifting cream with mdcp complex this is like a 95 dollars eye cream it did nothing like nothing for my eyes at all um i put a blog post up about it if you want to see i did like i used this for like two and a half months only on this eye and on this eye, I use like, you know, like Equate, the Walmart brand eye cream and stuff. And there were there was no difference. Like none at all. Not worth it. Next, Suki um, Exfoliant Foaming Cleanser. This also had kind of like a citrusy smell that was just really, really nice. This is like a not a sexy lemon though. This is just like a really bright, happy lemon. And um, I it had a very fine grit. And I really enjoyed using this on my face to do the physical exfoliation, the manual exfoliation. Um, the cool thing is it wasn't just like a grit, like most of the exfoliants are. It actually foamed up, which was pretty cool. And the grit would just kind of slowly dissolve away into nothing. So I really like this. I'm not sure that I will purchase it simply because... I end up with so many exfoliant 
samples through all my beauty subbies um, that I just usually have so many, you know, that I never end up buying an actual exfoliant. But I would consider buying this one because I love the scent. I love the fine grit. I love that it foamed. And it just seemed to do a really nice job. So I would consider buying this, although I probably will not because of what I said. Then we have Mica Beauty Cosmetics. And this is a black liner. And it was supposed to be a black gel liner. And I hated this. I just hated it. It is a dry mess. And I'm sorry, I don't have time to get some water and try to put it in there and just, you know, wet it back up and then go through all that. Mm -mm. No. Milani iTech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner. It's a marker type. This works just as well as the Stila waterproof 24 hour um, all day long living whatever kind of um, eyeliner it is. I loved that Stila and it's fabulous and it stay put and this Milani is just like it. I'm wearing it right now. Let me show you. It's very easy to do the, the, the flick at the end, the cat eye. You can make it thin, you can make it thick. Um, it's matte deep intense black and it stays put there's no transfer once it dries from the top to the you know up to your lid and um, you can put a little bit just a tiny line here and take a smudge brush and probably for about 30 seconds maybe a little bit longer you can actually kind of buff it out so it doesn't dry really quick so you can smudge if you want to um, but I love this liner and it's cheap so I can't say enough about it while I can't say anything good about this except that I didn't yeah I can't think of anything good to say about this EOS or EOS evolution of smooth shave cream um, I'm picky about shave creams I know that may be kind of weird but I am um, I live here in the south we're half naked most of the time because it's so stinking hot so I have to shave a lot and I've actually used the vanilla version of this twice and this would be the pomegranate raspberry it says shave wet or dry this is like putting a nice thick lotion on your skin it smells good it feels good it's moisturizing however and it took me a while to figure this out and to be sure of it this stuff coats your razor that's the problem it coats your razor um, you can put this on and shave and very quickly you'll notice that your razor has become coated. Look at it. You'll see it on the blades. It's dull. It doesn't want to shave. It wants to nick. And I'm sorry, but razors are just very expensive for you to have to change them out like every three days because your shave cream is coating it. So even though it smells good, even though it's moisturizing, even though it feels good and does provide you with a close shave until your razor gets coated in this stuff, it just leaves a waxy, waxy buildup. That sucks. So this and any other of the EOS shave creams, I will not be repurchasing it. Matrix. Biolage Exquisite Oil with Moringa Oil. I had the Micro Oil Shampoo and the Oil Cream Conditioner. Um, being that these were a little higher, you know, higher end shampoo conditioner, I was looking forward to trying these and um, did try them. And they seemed to do pretty good. I tried them on. They felt good. They seemed to scrub good and all this kind of stuff. But guess what? Second ingredient right after water, sodium lauryl sulfate can't do so um, they felt nice but they have sulfates and they make my hair eventually turn into a frizzy fuzzy mess and if you color your hair they strip the color out I know that was a lot and I've been saving up through the summer but hopefully um, you got some useful information I'm gonna put a link in the description for you if you're interested in purchasing any of the polish choice items because actually if you use my referral code if you're a first-time customer at Polish Choice, you'll get $10 off, and I'll get a $10 credit 
for having referred you. So it's a cool way for you and me to save a little cash. All right, that's it for now. Um, until next time, live beautifully.